some heat last time for cracking eggs wrong. So I've got a new knife. Bushka. Need some serious advice on how to crack eggs without getting 40 shells in eggs, but it adds to flavour. Right, meal one. We've got two whole eggs, and we now add the good stuff. 300 ml of egg whites. Guess in the comments how much this costs for one of these in Dubai. We've got 500 ml. So what we're saying, what do you think it costs? I'm gonna show you how much is left in this bottle. Eight pound. 40 dirhams. Right, so meal one, two whole eggs, 300 ml of egg whites, 200 gram chopped in tomatoes, 30 gram of light mature cheddar cheese. 200 gram of tomatoes. I need to move back in with my mum, mate. ASAP as well. I'm not cooking, I'm cleaning. I've seen him do it in Michelin stars like this, look. Heavy this. Anyone needs a chef? Hit me up. the egg omelette. No extra marks for presentation with meal one. Start off with something nice and light. Some veg, proteins, fats. That way, save my heavier meals around the training. I'm gonna eat meal one, and then quite an exciting shoot today on the palm at a really nice villa. So I'm gonna try and get some behind the scenes there, show you a little bit more of Dubai. So I've been situated in the apartment, that's it. So we're gonna get out today. The weather's not the best, but we're still gonna make the day as fun as we can. So get this down the hatchet, get to the gaff, and get some sick content. Me one down, you'll see what I'm really mad at this off season. I think I'm starting on a puny 3,200 calories and I'm stuffed, but we'll get it all in. We've got some growing to do. Common question in the comments is how tall am I? And how much do I weigh? So five foot ten, and I'm weighing now 87.8 as of this morning. So that is the heaviest that I've been probably in four years, and probably the biggest that I've been with this condition. So I've not really said what the goal is with bodybuilding, just to get back on stage, enjoy it. Put a couple of feelers out there on Instagram. People think potentially I'll be, be chasing a pro card down at the end of the year with this growth phase. So. Let's see, let's see what we can do. But truthfully, my honest thoughts, I think if I'm to get anywhere near a pro card, I'm gonna need to push up to like, I think 95. I think me at 95, we've got relatively good condition. And then diet down and be on stage at around 82, 83. I don't think anyone's got that symmetry or proportion and the condition level that I will bring. So, we'll blow my own trumpets. I don't do it often enough, but I honestly think like, It'll rustle a couple of feathers for me competing this year. Quick little behind the scenes of today's location for some content that we're grabbing. On one of the fronds, on the palm, some gaff. Set goals and achieve them. Ideally we want the sun shining through, but you can see the view. The skyline, the city in the back. What an unbelievable gap. The staircase of dreams. It's not normal for Dubai to see this much rain in one week. But you've got bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three, bedroom four, master bedroom. Shoot wrapped up, 
you'll see it all coming to Instagram. But back in the mix now for the full day of eating. Into meal two, known as a pre-workout meal. 125 gram of oats. I'll show you the oats actually, because in Dubai they're slightly different. We've gone for these ones. Quick cooking Quaker white oats, rather than the usual Quaker oats. Just because look at the thickness, these are really thin cook a lot nicer and they're a lot softer and they're even better than these ones as well, the, the, the oat flakes. If you're in Dubai, these are the goats. You know I like my oats. Goats and oats. But, a big meal here and I want to talk around it. Obviously I love oats, but 125 gram is probably my threshold. Like, not eating any more than that. 150, done. Sounds say napping. So I'll probably keep and roll these up at one, 125. But over time, as it gets hotter here, this will be, be getting taken out and I'll probably have cream and rice because it's easier to digest and it sits better. Um, not as nice though. But you've got to be smart in your off season. If it's not working, take it out. Let's get the magic portions out. We've got up first, salted caramel. Up second, vanilla. These drops, underrated, don't see many people know about them, so I'm gonna let you know the secrets. Probably put about 406 drops in here, like this. Don't count, it's off season. Probably way too many, count about 25. Then I try to keep this consistent because as I've said in previous videos, it does ski with your digestion. Typically, I go for around 15 gram. Then, up next, I'm going to push the berries. We've got 150 berries. Um, I'm not putting protein in. I'd rather drink it, even though in the off season that is diet. But I would honestly rather drink the protein. So that's what I'm going to do. 150. Little shake. And then we have meal two. Pre workout meal. Never been at an house like that. Straight onto a private branch at Palm. Um, G wagons on every drive. Unbelievable gaff. So that, that's no issue. And then just kind of a roundup really of the week because I know I've been extremely quiet. Call went well and got some good feedback on it, so I'll get that uploaded to Circle. Uh, I mean, some people are just too in, like too proud to, to say they can't afford it on the call, so they're like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll crack on and they'll just still not have the funds, which is annoying because you think, have I done anything wrong or do you know what I mean? But yeah. realistically, mate, it's just probably that they've not got the funds. Um, oh, it's a down, quick banana. One whole banana. Um, typically 45 minutes for a gym. Goes as part of the premium with the oats, but I don't like banana and oats. Uh, this will probably come out later down in the off season because the banana does fill me up compared to the other fruits that I have, so I'll probably take this away and load up on more pineapple or more apples, but munch this. to the from from the gym to home it's like 20 30 minutes 
I'm hungry, so I'm eating afterwards while appetite is elevated. Letting heart rate come back down, it's just allowing me to manage more meals within the off season. So switching things up, usually I have my cereal as you'll all know, but yeah, gonna get this down. It's a nice meal. Simplicity is the key to success with meal prep and to successfully go through a phase of dieting, whether that's gaining or getting lean. And that will just yield fat loss. We can't just come in and say, right, okay, let's target your body fat on your, on your stomach this week or, or, or your back. Like, it doesn't work like that. A completely tailored training program, a completely tailored nutrition program. And what you're seeing as a byproduct of that is the results. Focus on the, the digestion. Do a little bit of a root cause analysis, meal by meal. See how that sits and see how that digests. And if there are certain foods. 150 gram of pineapple now. Studies do show that this can increase hunger signaling before meals. So I've got a chicken and rice meal. I like to have a little snack before. It's really good for digestion, pineapple as well, and 150 gram of this. I could literally eat 300. It's best when it's fresh. But don't do it like this, because it's not cost effective. Get a pineapple, cut it. And then we've also got 20 gram of 85% dark chocolate. Little fat, little bit of fats before this meal as well. We'll have like a 45 minute break before this meal. But I always like to get this in before. And I just sit and stand and eat it on the scale just so I can see the exact measurement. So, I'm going to eat this. We're going to eat that. And then we're going to prep the food. <laughs> what are you doing? I stabbed it and put it back in drawer for me salmonella friends from the last four they were eating. Make sure you wash your hands then after you've cooked chicken, I know. True fish. Think I'm a cake, man. But top tip with chicken is just make sure like you don't overcook it. We like it medium rare, don't we, Al? <laughs> Two, yeah. Two meals in one here for efficiency. We've got two meals exactly the same. So they are 175 gram of chicken, 100 gram of dry weight jasmine rice, and 100 gram of vegetable variety in each. We've not upgraded the air fryer. We started with something quite simple and effective, but an instant regret. I'm not going to slay it because it does a business and it does a job, but in terms of it's a downgrade from the UK when you've seen. Big thing in off season is micronutrients. Don't be neglecting your veg. I, I do get it. Like further into the off season, as you start to get a little bit fuller, veg can come out for a green shake. That's what I typically do. Still getting your micronutrients in, um, but try and keep a consistent, consistent um, amount of veg and, and greens within your diet uh, for your micronutrients. But we've got 350 in there. And then what we're going to do is show you that, especially in an off season, you don't want to be having boring foods. Okay, so we've got my go-to at the minute: paprika and lemon. And then also some nice herbs. A little rustle around, make sure it's all got a little bit. And then a little bit of honey. And then we keep it all on scale so we just have 10 gram here of honey. Try it. Let me know your thoughts. Because I'm a big fan. Of course, if you're in a, a dieting phase, don't be wasting carbs on honey. Um, but you can see there, usually I do like to put some yogurt on it, um, but it's not on my diet at the minute, so I'm trying to keep that out. Um, and we've got it, we'll get that in. Two hundred gram of dry weight jasmine rice here. Again, jasmine rice is full of nutrients, digests better. Um, usually, I do have packaged rice. I'm in the UK. It's probably cost effective to do that, but in Dubai, it's not. Uh, it's really like, I'd say. Probably like four pound a pack. So if you're in Dubai, get a rice cooker or boil your rice like I, I do. I find that it's a lot cheaper, more cost effective. And to be honest, I prefer the taste um, because I make it like sticky rice. So two of the same meals, simplicity, ease, digest superbly well in an off season. Pick foods that digest well. If you're absolutely caking your diet and loads of potato and you're thinking, why am I full? I've got no room to cook food. Swap it out for carbohydrates such as rice or pasta, or an elite one is gnocchi, which is like pasta, you can load that in it in, in 
the volume of it you can get up to 200 250 i have some of my clients absolutely knocking that back in the off season digest superbly well gluten free stuff as well is really good in terms of digestion in off season it's about being smart and meticulous with your meal planning i'm not eating this for pure enjoyment yes i do enjoy it but i'm eating this for simplicity ease and the main purpose digestion so that i know with these rice meals i can load that another 50 gram and i know that i've got room to push up likewise with the fruit so when you're always starting an off season think right okay let's make things sustainable but where have we got room to wiggle up and push up and we've got cakes room here so this is the start of it and you'll probably see me on a lot more food but i don't forecast the food sources will change at all i think the volume of food will increase And then with my main meals, I also have one gram of pink salt. The reason for this is very, very simple. This combined with enough water and enough fluid, which is also a very good point. Hydration, typically for your average male, is 4.5 to 6 litres a day. I'm in a hotter climate, so I'm hitting upper end of six every single day. But also a gram of pink salt with each meal is going to help with nutrient transport as well, which of course is going to result in better pumps. Um, so we're weighing that out with every meal just to make sure we're very accurate on that and additional really what that is going to do is make your food a lot nicer so soy sauces that are, are up for grabs at the minute is we've got the sriracha hot sauce don't really weigh it within an off season but i know i'm not having any more than 10 gram per serving in that goes and then we also load up on this new one mayo chili sauce i'm not going to say it's elite but it's quite nice um this one's the this one's a daddy king daddy don't show my cupboard there so i'm skinny nando's perronese but we're flat line we ain't got none left so two meals here uh we will also put veg into these meals so 100 gram of veg and greens variety so with these meals as i mentioned micronutrients are important they're that important that i forgot mine so usually 100 gram of greens with these, 100 gram of greens with these, um, but I'm not going to lie, I ain't got them. And I'm not going to sell you down lane and tell you that I have. So this is the final two meals of the day. So we will be a little bit down um, on micronutrients, so I'll make sure that I've got them in stock tomorrow. Um, but yeah, final two meals, as you can see, simple, easy, effective, digest perfectly and they enjoy them. Tip in off season, obviously you know I love my productivity and I usually like a morning work block, three hours where I do it faster. So I was trialing that and it just wasn't happening. Like I was spending too long in the evening, like eating, chasing my tail all day. That is great fasting when you're in a dieting phase, but now I'm in an off season, I just have to get up half an hour earlier, have my water, hydrate, health fits, and then I have to have a meal before I start work. Otherwise, I'm just not gonna be able to, to do this off season properly. So meal timings is so critical in an off season, three to four hours every meal, and make sure that you're not missing those meal timings, otherwise you're gonna be chasing your tail, and if you eat too close to bed, elevated heart rate, it's gonna affect your sleep, it's gonna affect your ability to recover. Ah, shit. Full day reading gone wrong. What we got here then? We've got a Papa John's. A little bit under calories and we've got some tissue to add so we're not playing no games even though these pizzas don't look big enough. So we'll show you what we've got to finish the day off and to cap it off well. Off season, one off plan meal a week. I don't recommend pizza too often because it's not the best in terms of the nutrients and the breakdown but I've not had one in probably a year and I just fancied one and I think that's a good thing about an off season, get rid of your cravings. That's Alex's, so we're not, we're not gonna talk about that. I'll show you how to pizza. Oh no, he doesn't look that good, boy. <laughs> eh? Got no chicken nose. And the traitors to some additional bites. So I was aware this was like a chicken chicken pizza with pepperoni but I don't see any chicken I've got stuffed crust and then we've got some 
little chicken popper bites. Mine is a cosmic chorizo chicken. Alex's is chorizo garlic sauce. So that's what we're working with. Final meal, total calories is definitely taking us over for the day. But we're getting massive. I'm playing with these little boys out here. Also, I got refugee breakfast. You see this cross right here? This cross me, I was a bird. This cross right here, me, I was a prey. It's not for me. 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 Oh, no. This is a problem living in Dubai. You can get everything delivered. So I feel like it's Romanian. So there's two, either Andre ordered this. Oh, damn. Or Rambia has ordered this. So the first up is this. And I promise, this is not staged. What's in this one? A waffle. <laughs> now we've got another, and another bag. This is not good. <laughs> oh. oh, another one. Almonds. So that is, what is that? I don't, oh, bang you. So we've got three of those. And then I, this one feels heavy. Order notes. Rambia. You. So we've got one chocolate and cherry almond crepe, one peach jam, amaretto biscuits, and chocolate crepe. One box of 1.25 kilo, your choice of five flavors, cookies, pistachio, hazelnut, grandma biscuits. So then we have this. Oh my God. Oh. Don't think we can do all of that in one night. You saw the disaster of the eating challenge, but what a guy, Rambia. Always comes, oh my God. That is, this is like. You need to try that quick. <laughs> Not over exaggerating. Andre and Rambi had told me in the gym the other day, this ice cream smashes Ben and Jerry's. Mate, that is tremendous. I'm gonna big this restaurant up. Of course, big love to Rambi for this because I can't imagine this was cheap at all. But that is the nicest ice cream I have ever tried. So we've got full day eating. 15k challenge edition, we switched it up. Full day eating in an off season has been transitioned into an eating challenge. We've got ice cream, five flavors, 1.2 kilo ice cream. We've got two pizzas, boxes of chicken nuggets. We've got two pancakes, a waffle. We've got five ice cream cones. Let's get to work. But out of all four, the ice cream's the best. And I feel overwhelmingly sick. So, you're not getting the pleasure of watching me in pain again. I've got a cheek full of waffle, this cheek full of crap. This is a rogue full day of eating that has gone wrong. We'll put all the macros on plan that are of the official meal plan. But, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you're entertained. And we'll catch you in the next one when I've got a full mouth of crap.